Hey up kids, Adam here from Pause Games and welcome to Resident Evil 3. Um, so this was actually one of my favourite games growing up. Um, I loved Resident Evil 3, I loved the Nemesis, uh, or Nemesis. Um, so let's play it. Um, little disclaimer before we get into this, um, today's setup is a little bit weird. I'm streaming this game to my office from my console and recording that way. So if there's any lag or anything like that on this first episode, we'll rectify that from episode two by just bringing the Xbox up here. Uh, I was just trying not to uh, move my setup too much. So yeah, if there's any streaming lags, that'll be why. Uh, so we're gonna start, I have already played through a little bit of the story uh, just to test this. Um, so what we're gonna do is actually start uh, a new game. Start a very uh, brand new save and we'll play through right from the beginning. Um, we are only going to play through this on standard, I'm not going to risk hardcore. Um, and I am playing this on console using an Xbox One controller. So again, just to put it out there, uh, my aiming is terrible on a controller. Uh, I'm, I'm much more used to PC, mouse and keyboard setup. Um, but, you know, we're here, we're going to play it. So... Uh, yeah, get used to some terrible zombie headshots, because uh, I'm not very good. But it's more, more of the challenge. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Angry mobs roam the city, crushing buildings. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked unconscious in civil life. I like that it's got real footage. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Say. Reminds me of the uh, Resident Evil 1 original intro. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. There he is, Nemesis, the big boy. Really like that intro. It's really well done. Well done, Capcom. I'm impressed. <laughs> Anyone else getting any Resident Evil 7 vibes yet? Like I say before, I did play through this first light. 10-15 minutes and I was really shocked at this bit because uh, I am now controlling this. This is first person Resident Evil 3 <laughs> and there's, oh, I wonder who this could be. <laughs> I mean it's pretty self-explanatory who it probably is as everyone who has played the game seen the adverts, you know, anything about it. <laughs> it's a really unique start there, I really like it. Tap running. It's heading here. Oh, there I am. No. Oh. oh no. My oh, nose bleed. Shit. Oh, 
Jesus. I worked so well in the, in um yeah, in first person it worked so it's bloody well. I love it, I do. Right, what's what's the kind of thing? Three more days, oh dear. I don't think you're gonna have, have much luck with that, sweetie. Sweetie cheeks. Um there's just the news happening. Uh, some yep. Yeah. So, what am I doing here? Let's have a look. Let's read some stuff. Jill's report. September the 26th. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will, pr uh, will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that this helps to lead to the truth. Those infected by this virus seem to become in, uh, literal zombies. It appears to be uh, communicable with several different avenues outlined below. A bite from the infected individuals, uh, along with mixing bodily fluids. Contact with crows which have been eaten, which have eaten infected carrion. Uh, due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. Uh, it's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could be an extended incubation. Very reminiscent of the uh, the current situation in the world, don't you think? Investigation notes. Uh, pharmaceutical company, industry leader in market share, focusing on mid military weapons. So this is basically a brief summary of uh, Umbrella, for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, T, they are, um, T virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility. So that is obviously the Resident Evil 1 game in the mansion. Bottom me, the mansion. Uh, conspiring with Ragu, Ragu, Raccoon City leadership. Um, so that's obviously re referencing number two. Uh, where Chief Irons, was it, uh, from the police, was uh, um, being a naughty man. Okay, that's that then. What's this? Uh, unsealed envelope. They got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Iron's men? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I don't know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, tor torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever it is, it is that they do to people like me... Um, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Is that a letter to me? Or is that... Oh, I don't really understand. Another letter. Message from colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot. How's it holding up? Uh, I still can't believe I suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions. I uh, hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars were the, was the pride of the force when, we, when the chief disbanded us out of nowhere. I thought I was sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured it you just wouldn't take the suspension line down. Just promise me to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you j uh, try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad of Vickers, Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. That does look tasty. Uh, right, so that's, I think, everything I can read. Um, yeah, let's go and check out. Oh, I can look, look in the old fridge of um, Oh, if anyone needs any milk, she's got some raccoon milk here. And bakery bread. This girl is stocked up for the apocalypse. Uh, right, let's head into the old bathroom again. See if I'm going to turn into some naughty girl. Turn on then, maybe? Oh, there we go. What is it with this girl? I'm leaving her bloody taps on. Don't have to pay for your own water. Jesus. Doesn't grow on trees, young lady. Hmm. 
There we go. Look at this. What what a transition. <laughs> and we're now into third person. Well, it's such a brilliant way of doing it. And it really shows off the RE engine, like the capabilities of it so well. Okay. I think that's all we can do. I'm get, uh, what was that? All right, I'm coming. Yeah, give me a sec. Oh, I can't go out that door. There's no point checking. Let's answer the old phone and uh, yeah, see what's cracking off in the world. A lot of sirens going on, isn't they, in the background? Hello. Jill, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Ah! Holy shit, in doodars. Well, there he is, folks. Nothing like throwing you in at the bloody deep end. Jesus. Oh, shit, I'm on. Oh my Christ. I'm scared, guys, I'm scared. Quick, leg it. Leg it. Um, window, 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 window. What the hell? No way. Uh, window, window. <laughs> oh my Christ. This is terrifying shit! Oh my god, even got that slow motion like action movie shit going on. Go on, go on. Don't stop and look, just run. Come on, get out of there. Oh shit. Could have been nasty. Could have pulled a mischief there, Jill. Okay. Right, go, 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 go. Oh, God. She's resilient, isn't she? And he's relentless. Oh shit, no, go, go on. Oh Christ, oh Christ. Oh no. Just run, just run, please. Bloody hell. God, that was intense. What an opener. Bloody hell. Oh, is that Brad? Brad? Yes, it is. You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arklay on steroids. I am a bit. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! Jesus, look at this place. It is destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Get out of my way, dickheads. I'm not, I ain't got a gun or anything. Come on, go, 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 go. Door behind you, go! Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. 
We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! You... Jesus Christ. Sorry. He went for that whole mansion right getting bit. And now he can't hold one bloody door open. No, closed. Ah, oh, whatever. Ooh, we have a we have ourselves a cheeky gun. No. Do I need to shoot him or can I run away? I want to save my five bullets. Parking garage roof. Right, okay, I'm on it. I'm on it, kid. Hello, mate. Sir, are you alright? Stay back. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can tell you. The only safe place is in here. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. Oh yeah, you've been doing a bang-up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Okay, you're stubborn. And um, anyone who's played the original game, that's like pretty much the first bit that's <laughs> that's the same. Um, but there was a lot of save room up there in the original. Oh shit! I'm not going out there. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing this is just... Uh, maybe I'll come back to it later on. I don't know. Uh, right, let's go upstairs to the roof. Oh shit, there's dogs. I'm not a fan of dogs. Not got enough uh, ammo to deal with them bad boys. Alright, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, lift? Why would I take the lift? Shit! Shit! Get off me, you prick. I don't want to waste my five ammo. I want that. <laughs> Ammo's precious in these kind of games. This is just like a tutorial, isn't it? So I'm sure I can get around it. Hey, down here. Amazing, guys. So we've made it to the end of the game already. That's good. So let's just get in this chop helicopter and I'm home free. Well, so that's been Resident Evil 3, everyone. Oh, we, oh shit. Well, who's gone and done that? I mean, that was my way home. That was my... Oh, not that twat again. Oh, what? Uh, oh, shit. Hey. Oh, no. Hey. Hey! <laughs> yes, right, we've got it. got it. Uh, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. Oh. No, no, no. Hold on, I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. Rev the, rev the bitch. Holy crap.
Oh, the way it's so sweepy on the camera. This is so well done. They've done such a good job with this. They really have. God, game, modern games are amazing, aren't they? Now, how am I going to get out of this one? Oh, my God. Am I crawling? Am I really crawling away? Really? Oh, you missed him. Come on now. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Name's Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. Well, he's a big bag of sexy, isn't he? I think we're in the clear. I hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Okay, you go with Carlos. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? <clears throat> Sorry, we're going to have to go around. Anything to find in here? Oh, there's some hey, free food. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No, thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, we're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. But you don't have to trust me. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Oh, well, I mean, I guess I have to. It's this way. Ooh, dino bites. Could go for some dino bites right now. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. He is creepy as shit. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. They're going to have so much sex. We 
need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Okay, thanks. Uh, so for anyone who has seen or played the demo of this, this is basically where that picks up. Uh, USB af uh, USB. <laughs> <laughs> UBCS. Uh, so in this game, we can pick up uh, different hand, uh, different gunpowders to make different weapons. So two normal gunpowders makes handgun, gunpowder and high grade makes shotgun, and two high grade makes mag ammo. Um, so that'll be useful in a little while when we come to combining ammo, uh, gunpowder. Soon, actually, if we pick some up um, up here, if the uh, if this is going to be the same as the demo, which I'm assuming it is mostly, um, as that did seem to be taken straight from the game. Tabloid front page. In the grey of the morning of September 25th, a frantic call call a telephone the RPD to report an assault. A man described as dishevelled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lab Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officer discovered the mutated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered. <laughs> <laughs> dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? Oh, mm. we here at News Comet have a gawning feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have in infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Boil? Mm. Turn to. Turn the page for the scoop. And there isn't another page. <laughs> I apologise about my reading these things. I'm so bad at reading stuff. Really, really terrible. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tank's got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Ooh, got ourselves some cheeky herb. I mean, it is uh, is the month of 420, so get those herbs down, you boys. Uh, let's bash one of these. We all recognise these from Resident Evil 7, don't we? Boom. Okay. Is there anything else over here? Oh, there's a box. Oh, it looks like it's locked. Okay, so I need a key for that one. We will come back to you shortly, sir this um it's the usb herb manual <laughs> uh, there's no place like oh, so basically uh, this is the mixing of herbs so two green herbs it makes a high potency mix um three green herbs or a one green and one red makes a maximum and first aid sprays are a thing as well uh, so basically what that's teaching us here is if we mix one of those with one of those that makes a high potency which is the highest you can get basically there's eight that will cure you fully um, from uh, anything, from full danger all the way full, full heal. That'll heal you a little bit. Um, so that's how it works. And these, if I combine these, will make us some lovely handgun ammo, which is excellent. So let's ship that in there. Uh, what is this? Um, commemorating the grand opening of the K Kite Bros Railway. Okay, so I'm assuming there's a, I'm going to have to put something on these. Looks like there's indentations, three indentations it looks like. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it I is. I just said that, Joe. I just said that. I just said that. And we've got a lovely storage box, so let's pop that in there. Oh, no. Pop that in there for now, and we'll keep the little herb with us. And we'll, we'll have a little save. Um, I'll start ourselves a new save here, because... I said I did make it to the old donut shop in my little playthrough before, so make a new save. Once I overpass that save, we'll go over it. This is going to be my new playthrough. Um, I just wanted to see how it played on this streaming thing, and so far, so good. Uh, is there anything else in here? And the only thing I'm going to sort out between this and the next episode is the audio levels. I think the game audio is a little bit too loud your end, so we will adjust that in the next one. Oh, 
gotta get that train moving. Quick step. Okay, I didn't do it very well, but never mind. Uh, I'm gonna try and save as much ammo as I can. That's the plan here. Um, saying that, I'm not going around this kid. Or you? Shit. Make sure he's not going to come behind me. No, we're good. Hello, cop shop. Come on. Oh. Not me. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh shit, he's coming back now. Oh, tits. Okay, avoided that boy. Right, if I bring these out here, I might be able to save some ammo. If I can bring you over here, I'll sneak around that side. Come on, kids. So I've already wasted a ton of ammo on that guy. I'm not even going to blame the, the controls. I'm just going to blame me. There we go. Got around you. Oh no, and you're back as well. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can. Ah, oh, just too late. Actually, I think I pressed the wrong button. It's that one to avoid, and I pressed LB. <laughs> That's probably why. Uh, cool. Am I missing anything in here? No. No, no. Right, so what we got out here then? Um, another locked door. Not got the key for that just yet. Some more zombos there. Uh, that looks like it's locked. Ooh. Use this. Careful. Thank you. Is that more gunpowder? Yep, wonderful. Um, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Language, Jillian. Uh, I don't think I can get through here. No, so I need some kind of wrench or hose or something. Come on then, let's head back. Oh no, here they come kids! Here they come! What's this red barrel that he keeps showing me here? What's this going to do, I wonder? I wonder indeed, yo! Ooh! Nice! Wonderful stuff. Okay. Let's head down here then. Any more boys down here? Oh god, yeah, there's loads. Absolute tons. Well, oh, hopefully he's took them out of the way. I told you I'm so bad at aiming on this. I'm not used to console anymore. I was like... Yes! Got it. Almost got it. Okay, all those zombies are now back up. Can I get around them? I mean, if I bring them up here. Yeah, I might do that, because I don't really have the ammo. No, no, you're running away, kids. So i try that thing where I run past them. Let's try the thing. Yeah, it works. Yay! <laughs> uh, right, 
donut shop. Let's uh, anything over here. Oh, there is gunpowder. Let's head in the shop because if it's the same as the demo, it's safe in here. And we like safe. Uh, more gunpowder. Are you? Yeah, he's dead. So my aim is to try and down the zombies the best I can and then just use the knife on them to at least try and uh, save some ammo. Oh, there's another lock there. So we can't do anything with them yet. Okay, what we got in here? Another herb. Lovely. Oh, and a fancy box. My inventory is full. I'll right, we'll come back to you in a second, fancy box. Let's put them some stuff away. Let's pop another one of these away. I'll pop another gunpowder and we'll save those two. We'll make that into, into some more ammo in a second. Um, examining items, yes, yes, yes. Okay, some kind of fancy box. Something inside. Red jewel. Imitation ruby. Looks like made to be slotted into something. Um... Oh, that'll be that thing in that first room. And that like, clock thing. I bet it's that. There's a box in there anyway, so... Store you. And we'll keep this stuff. Yeah, we'll keep all that. Um, okay. Save the old game. We'll go over that one in a second. I'm almost back to where I was in the... Uh, in my little preview. Basically picked up one other thing. Actually, I'll tell you what. I think what we'll do... Is we'll leave that for episode one, because um, we are basically just where during the demo territory. Um, so we'll pick that up for this one. There'll be another episode very, very soon as we continue on with Resident Evil Three. Uh, I'm going to try and keep them around sort of this length, sort of 30 minutes ish. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do. So uh, th yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give us a like down below. Subscribe to the channel so to save all of the content. Fancy a chat over to Twitter and Discord, and if you want to help us out, do that by going to the Patreon page. All the links are down below in the description. But for now, cheers for watching. See you next time. Bye.